I, I don't know. I, I guess I'm I'm a little bit stuck, honestly, um, on this this problem. I know we've been staring at it for a little bit at this point. You know, we're kind of coming up here on time. Uh, we've got about five minutes left in this interview, and I know you've been kind of stuck on the same SQL problem for the last 20 minutes, but uh, you know, at this point, uh, I, I don't even worry about it. Instead, uh, I like at this point asking you if you have any questions uh, for me about working at SDG, you know, uh, do you have anything that you would like to know, you know, working with our team, uh, how it's like, work-life balance, or anything like that? <laughs> yeah, I guess we really only do have um, five minutes left. Uh, I guess questions that I might have for you, um, if, I, if I were hired, uh, what should I know or what should I learn right away? What, what would you think is really important at um, SDG? Yeah, I mean, generally, you know what I tell most people, you know, when they come uh, start here at SDG, I'd say, you know, uh, you know, make sure your SQL skills are strong. Uh, some Python's good, but, you know, we can we can work on that. Uh, definitely, we love seeing strong SQL skills. That is kind of what we use for a lot of our data manipulation, especially as a data engineer. Um, although we are kind of switching things over in some areas, but for the most part, I think that's a great place to start. So if you could start learning those skills uh, before you started here, that would be great. Yeah, yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. Um, I'm, I'm curious, uh, how, how do you think I did? I, I, I just I just feel a little bit nervous, you know, this was a little bit of a, a bumpy round. So I'm just curious, you know, can you give any form of uh, feedback to me at this point? Yeah, for that, the uh, recruiter will definitely email you later. You know, we're not really allowed to kind of provide uh, any sort of information on how you did just yet. You know, we gotta kind of go and sync with your other interviewers today and see how you did across different rounds. And you know, uh, that kind of plays a major role in figuring out uh, whether you're gonna get an offer or not. Okay, yeah, no, I, I totally understand. I, I get it. Um, I just was hoping maybe you could. Yeah, well, it was nice meeting you. I really do appreciate that you gave us an hour today. I mean, throughout this whole day, I know it was a long interview process. And so I really appreciate all your time. And uh, yeah, uh, hopefully you see that email from the recruiter later. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for your time. Uh, I'll see you later. Okay, bye. All right, so I got to study. Where do I start? Hmm. Coffee and a blueberry muffin. No, I need to focus. Okay, study. But I need, you know, coffee would be great. And I need coffee to focus. No, no, coffee should be a reward. Coffee should only be a reward once I start studying. So let's start by... This site actually might be useful. Uh, Strata Scratch. Let's see what they've got for coding questions. And of course, free. Good, they've got some SQL questions here and it looks like they're basing it off of some things, in this case, Facebook. Huh, okay, so what's this question asking? Write a query to get the post success rate by date. Assume that the first action for all postings is enter, followed by either post if posting is successful or cancel if post is unsuccessful. So what are they asking? Write a query to get the post success rate. So I wanna see when they post, I guess. You know what? Maybe we need to whiteboard this. So I guess what we could do is create two subqueries, one for all post events, one for all enter events, and then essentially put the total uh, enter events as the denominator and the total uh, post events as the numerator, and that should give us should give us the number they're looking for, and then from there we can just display the counts. That that would be good, but. But then I'm hitting the table twice. I wonder if I can do this with just one query. Can I do this with just one query? Okay, one more time, one more time. I think we can get this right. So we wanna write a query to get the post success rate by date. Okay, so that means for this question, 
we need to select, create it at, actually, what do they expect? Let's hit expected output. Okay, so yes, create it at, and then, okay, we also need post. Let's copy paste this from Stack Overflow. But we need to change some things. Um, event name, uh, post, one, one, as post. Cool. And then let's just do some copy paste magic. And then from, we'll just copy this table name right here. Perfect, group by one. I guess if I was doing this for real, I'd need to uh, capitalize the clauses, but let's, let's just try to answer this like we would in an interview. Enter, and then also post success rate. So enter goes here, and then we need to divide this to get the post success rate, like I mentioned earlier, except that this should let us not have to run two table scans. So sum here, enter, perfect. All right, yeah, I, I think this should be it. Let's, let's try running this. Wait, why is, why is that row wrong? There's one value that I'm not right on, but post and enter look right. If two divided by, two divided by five is 0. 0.4, what, what, is it, what is it currently giving me? What's, what's the current output then? Uh, where is the, what is my output? Huh, zero. Why would it be zero? Unless it's, it, it must be treating both as ints. I wonder if I can just do a quick times 1.0. I think if I remember something from class, I think that should do it. Oh, thank God. Oh, that just took 45 minutes. Well, I guess we can go on to the next problem. Okay, let's scroll down here and let's try accommodate to bed ratio. Wait, um, <laughs> this is in Python. I was, thought I was only gonna be practicing SQL. Well, then I better go check that email. Otherwise, if there's Python, I don't think I'm gonna be ready by next week.